Assalamu alaikum. Greeting to all the students of e-learning center from the Department of Business Administration of Dhaka City College. We will have another session today and we will be online and I think you are also connected with us. Hopefully we will have a start our another session today and the new chapter and the partial chapter of nine chapter will be conducted today. The chapter part will be conducted today and that part will be the employee grievance. Employee grievance is one of the crucial part of our industrial relationship because when there is a conflict, when there is a grievance, when there is a dispute, all are not good for the organization because employer and employees have a better relationship with the organization. They will have to follow the rules and regulation of the organization. They will have to follow the norms and the policies of the organization what the top level management already designed. So I, I'll give you some of the important idea about the employee grievance that how you can follow this and how you can resolve this. So in this chapter we will concentrating on only that the grievance and how we can handle the grievance according to the rationalities. So there are a couple of things that you have to learn first that we can follow the industrial policy, the own policy of the organization that is that has been designed by the board of directors and also the top level management. But sometimes organizations, they are also following the international law and also they are following the Bangladesh level law. As you know that our courses is designed under the context of Bangladesh, University of, of uh, National University of our Bangladesh and also our college is following the rules and regulation under the context of Bangladesh. So you have to follow these things also in your organization when you start your business. So I advise you also follow those things in your education. So now we can give you the picture of how you can follow these things. So we can resolve the conflict, we can resolve the grievance when you go to the labor code. The labor code also follow the rules and regulation designed by the Bangladesh Labor Law 2006 amended 2013 and we have to follow these things. So now student I think you are doing well in your in your uh, home and also you are be very busy in your uh, homeworks and also in your online assignments. I already conducted one review session earlier and uh, the responses are not very good because students are coming uh, with uh, list question and also having no question they are just uh, uh, getting uh, online but they are not asking any questions to me so I give you the advice from the next session that when you are coming in the review session you come up with your question and queries and also you studied the lectures properly so that you can answer you can ask the question properly to the t tutors so it will be a, a very good advice to the the students who are online who are taking e-learning education from the institution so you have to come come up with your preparation otherwise it will be very difficult for you to uh, conduct the session or the review sessions later on so let's start students a new chapter or the part of the chapter of nine that is employee grievance so what is employee grievance so first start with the concept of employee grievance so students we will start from our concept of employee grievance. So what is employee grievance? First start with the concept of employee grievance. So as you know that the grievance is a uh, one kind of dissatisfaction and also this is, is a one kind of discontentment and dissatisfaction and also the disagreement between the employer and employees. When the employers are giving any task and then employees are not listening to that task and listening to the instructions Maybe there will be a starting with the dissatisfaction. Why the employees are not listening? Maybe there may be some, some of the reason, some of the uh, causes you have to identify later on. But this is a one kind of differences between the interest of, of the employer and the employee. That's why employees are sometimes dissatisfied with the issues and then they are expressing or sometimes they are not expressing. It depends on the some issues and that's why employees grievance in a that sense is a kind of reality a real sense that organizations are facing always right now in the in the world so this is one of the important part of our discussion today that how you can 
handle the grievance later on we will discuss so next start with our one example of the employee grievance so for example the employees or the supervisors are working in the factory and the employees are not responding to the instruction of the supervisors they are feeling some kind of dissatisfaction about the policy ends and also some some rules and regulation designed by the top level management and this, it can be an example that employees are expressed but sometimes ex employees are not expressing their dissatisfaction it is already implied and that is in the mind of the employees and that may be sometimes having some difficulties in the organizations that employees are not or cannot be controlled by the organization so you have to think about very seriously about these issues so next issue that you, it, it will be very very important to differentiate between the the dissatisfaction complaint and the grievance at a time because these three things sometimes confusing about the how and what is the grievance and what is dissatisfaction what is complaint dissatisfaction is only a kind of mere dissatisfaction uh, is, is a kind of only a mere expression this is not that it is written it is not that sometimes expressed it is only a kind of uh, informal uh, attitude by the employees they are dis they are showing like a dissatisfied with the policies and they are just orally making these things to the um, to the employer if the organizations are making some policy like that they are trying to introduce some new rules and regulations that employees are not satisfying with the issues that they are just uh, expressing orally or verbally related to the issues to the top level management or their immediate boss this is a, uh, this is a dissatisfaction next is uh, complaint complaint is sometimes expressed and sometimes implied also but it is important that sometimes complaint if you have to have a complaint that you have to write down and written format of complaint should be written should be delivered to the employ employer so complaint is either written or you know oral but this is a grievance grievance is uh, one kind of dissatisfactions related to the matter that is also implied and expressed so this is a one kind of dissatisfaction grievance is a one kind of dissatisfactions already we talked about the dissatisfaction but this dissatisfaction sometimes is not expressed it is in the mind or in the in the in the feelings of the employees only they are not expressing directly to the employer so that's why i think employees grievance complaint and dissatisfactions are you know differentiated according to that sense so according to the issues we can have a, a, a small definition or small uh, information that we can share with you that what is grievance grievance is a small in a stable in a stable way a stable sense that dissatisfaction uh, is, a, is a dissatisfaction it is expressed or implied sometimes it is written or it is not written in the form of uh, dissatisfaction so the employees grievance uh, is a it should be it is a very important thing that employees uh, relationship will be at a stake so you have to need you need to take care of the issues uh, very seriously so next important part of the employee grievance is a reason so this is uh, another uh, important related part to our discussion that why the employees grievance raises what is the reason what is the rationalities behind that so what are the uh, main causes sorry, behind the employees grievances so we have to think about and we have to find out the reason a proper reason authentic reason otherwise you cannot deal with the grievance properly because if you are dealing with the grievance you have the wrong data so and you have the wrong information so i think it, it, will, it will be a very difficult for the employers to talk about the issues and deal with the issues and they cannot solve the problem directly and they are in a you know you know in a wrong situation they are in a problematic situation so what are the main reason of the employees grievance what is the reason behind the employees grievance now we are talking about first one improperly functioning office equipment so this is this is uh, you know understandable this is a really really you know pragmatic situation that we have already this is a practical things always we are dealing with every times the employees are working with their tools and techniques and the devices and the facilities and also the furnitures there the organizations already provided so employees are 
always working with their devices and their gadgets and their equipments if the equipments and the machines and the things they are working with they are not working properly so in that sense uh, it is uh, one of the important thing that employees are feeling dissatisfaction okay so that's why improperly functioning equipments you need need to provide you have to provide the best equipment to the employee so that there will be no employee grievance so it can be a way that employees are working and they are the equipments are getting uh, disturbed and it is uh, getting not properly performed and it is not properly maintained so i think uh, employer employees are always dissatisfied with these issues next the temperature sometimes employees are working in a pressure situation in a you know with a dust fume and they are working in a broiler in front of you i think you have already experienced about the organizations earlier in your industrial visit if you see that that workers are working in a temperature and you need to be provide you need to provide some uh, some uh, better you know ecology and the environment so that the uh, you have to provide the other year supply so that the workers are worker can get the best temperature in the office because sometimes you know exactly they are human beings so you they they need some temperature a uh, best temperature so that they can work in the organizations properly it can be a reason if you are not properly maintain the temperature of the organization it can be a another reason for employees grievance next issue is uh, discrimination sometimes employees can be discriminated okay they are sometimes one employees are one employees are you know dealing with uh, one employees are providing all the facilities and uh, sometimes the others are not providing the facilities in the same way there may be a discrimination so uh, i think you have already experienced about the hawthorne experiment earlier in the management so the elton mayo did the con did uh, one kind of survey and also an experiment on the human relationships so all the employees are not like that so that that you know that exactly that Hawthorne experiment what what the deed Elton Mayo divided the all the organizations employees into two two different group and they are not providing one groups to the facilities and they are providing all the facilities to the other groups but at the end of the uh, issue or the experiments the both the productivity of the people raised so if you think about these issues that that always the Hawthorne experiment will work not not like that so you have to provide all the facilities equally to everyone so that there will be no employee grievance so discrimination should not be there next is uh, proper salary benefits and the promotion this is another problem for the organization that sometimes employees are not being paid are not being given all the facilities and benefits accordingly or rationally so they need better salary benefits and promotion timely promotion timely all the facilities they should be given but employer employers are not provided uh, properly sometimes maybe sometimes organizations have some limitation but still you have to be on the limitation because they are working here why reason behind that they need salaries they need benefits and promotion so i think uh, it should be concerned it sh there should be you have to think about the issues very perfectly that they are coming and they are working for the salary so provide the best salary and benefits accordingly next is sometimes organizations are uh, uh, peoples or the managers or the top level managers they are harassing they are harassing the employees they are harassing the workers in the name of physical harassment mental harassment and they are har harassing in the different form right that they are always giving pressures they are always giving psychological pressures and also physical pressures and also they are harassing in a different format they are making some hassles for the organization's employees and that will create that will create in the mind of the employees a grievance and sometimes they are expressing this grievance in front of the other people so you have to think about the issue sometimes organizations the, the female workers are getting some kind of physical harassment so this is a very very shame of our organizations the reality in our country especially but you have to think about these issues very seriously and the next issue is the hours and schedule and the last part of our discussion of this topic that the hours and schedule that sometimes employees are working and they are not 
employers are not following the proper way and they are not following the proper schedule some of the organizations you go to the corporate organizations they are following some specific hours of their organizational activities but uh, some of the organizations they are not following you are coming up and then you are working for late hours so it is not very good idea so you have to think about the issues very seriously and have a better schedule for the people when they are coming and you have to give them the holidays you have to give them the uh, kind of leave so that they can be they can enjoy their activities simultaneously so that is the end of this uh, part and if you have any questions related to this topic so you come up with your with our uh, with your query in the, in the zoom session when we we'll come back to it later on I'll give you the link later so let's start with that how you can handle the grievance how you can handle the grievance that is a handling procedure of the how you can control the grievance in the organizations according to Bangladesh Labor Law 2006 uh, section 33 if you go to the session you can uh, you can know that how you can solve these things so first you have to know that uh, there are a couple of subsections so first we have to know that what is this exactly so I'll read out the uh, points and then I'll give you some explanation about these issues later on so that you can understand very easily so any worker including an worker who has been laid off retrained dis discharged dismissed removed and otherwise removed from the employer employment who has Grievance in respect of any matter covered under this chapter and intended to uh, seek redress thereof un under this section shall submit the grievance to the employer in writing by register post within 30 days of being informed of in cause of this grievance provided that if the employer's acknowledge received of the grievance in case of the service by the register post shall not be essential so it is a very important part and uh, discussion of the labor law that it is being written down in the legal format so you can you can write down like that or you can also neutralize this in, into a normal plain English language so so what is the main idea of this section subsection that if any worker is facing any problem related to their employment if they are laid off retrained discharge and removed from the organization in you know this is uh, in not in a better way or not in a right way they are they are having some grievance about this chap about these issues and then they will have to present it in front of the employer with uh, if you think that, think about that employers are not listening the employees complain properly and then they are not taking it very seriously then employee can you know put these things into registry post and then it will be treated at, as that employees already concerned these issues already you know deliver these issues to the employers so this is the important part that this is a very important thing for the employees so in a nutshell so if the employees are having any kind of problem related to their employment like they are being retrenched they are being laid off discharged removed from the employees without any reason so if they are having that they are having some dissatisfaction then they will have to address this dissatisfaction to the employer immediately within 30 days and they will have to give the employers a notification so this is very important part of our discussion so secondly if the employer within 15 days of the receipt of such grievance inquiry into the matter the matter give the workers an opportunity of being heard and communicate this decision in writing so in that case the employer also within 15 days of that receipt of that grievance they will have to give the chance to the employees that why they are having the grievance they will have to listen to the workers within very sh within 15 15 days this is and they will have to give the decision about their problem Next, if the employer fail to give decision under this subsection to and fail the workers dissatisfied uh, and also if the worker is dissatisfied with the decision he made uh, complain in the written to the labor court within 30 days of from the date of date under subsection 2 within 30 days from the date of the decision as case may be. So the third subsection, the third sub 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 subsection is basically uh, re reflecting that if the employer is 
basically if the employer is not capable they are basically not they are not interested to provide the decision and also he fails to provide the decision within the stipulated time that 15 days then employer and also if the decision has been made by the employer but the employees are not dissatisfied with the decision then the employee can definitely go to the labor court and they will have to write down these things as a complaint in a written format and within 30 days of the decision that is being made or within the 30 days of being failure the fourth subsection the labor court shall on the receipt of the complaint hear the parties after giving notice to them and make such order as it may be deemed may deem just and proper so it is understandable you know the very simple thing that the labor court will give the order to both the people and both the party they will come up and they will listen to the both the people and and they were there you know their understanding the labor court is understanding what is the main problem related to the issue then the labor court may amongst amongst other relief direct in reinstate or reinstate statement of the complaint in service the with the without back wages convert the order dismissal and remove discharge or any other lesser punishment in that sense that has been given so the or the labor court also think about that they will uh, they, they can take about they, they will give another order that you will have to reinstate your employees if the employees are not found found guilty in that sense that you have to uh, provide all the facilities already you are, you are you are not giving right now so you have to give all the facilities to the employees so the employees uh, employees decision dismiss decision or the decision when the employees are giving the employees uh, kind of removal decision or the termination then the labor court can uh, give lesser punishment lesser punishment about the issues and also they will try to reinstate they will give some order to the employers that you have to reinstate the workers immediately so this is another way then the subsection 6 any employees aggrieved by the order of the uh, labor courts may within 30 days they will go to the appeal at tribunal this is a very simple thing that if the employees are not thinking that the labor court is not providing the right decision the employees are employees can go to the you know supreme court within the decision within 30 days of the decision that has been provided by the labor court so in that sense appeal at tribunal is the highest decision the pinnacle or the apex body of our you know trial process so the employees can go to that area so that will be the that decision will be the finals we cannot have another appeal uh, or the another complaint against the appellate tribunal that decision will be the final one so you have to think about the issues very seriously and the last one the subsection is a seven that you should not and you you should not provide any kind of uh, you know fees for the for that com that kind of trial process or complaint in the labor court so this is a totally free so this is all about that how you can control the grievance by following the standard already we talked about earlier and that is the issues we already uh, already we uh, discussed earlier so the last part so already we talked about the how you can handle or control the grievance of the employee by following the labor law and the last part of our discussion today that is the consequence consequence for or the impact of employees grievance in our society and in the organization so if you think about that the consequences and the impact of the grievance so you have to first think about the reason also so that why the employees grievance has been raised so that's why the we discussed the issues earlier so now what are the impact what are the impact of the employees grievance in our organizational performance in the organization so how the employee or the employers both can be affected by their employees grievance so what are the results of that employees grievance now we are talking about so what is that first issue issue is the reduced productivity so employees are definitely this is a very normal sense that employees are not providing uh, employees are not getting the best benefits they are 
sometimes they are being overlooked employee employers are not providing all the facilities properly they are not treating the employees just so properly and also they are not providing the, uh, the employees all the informations they are not providing they are not giving all the facilities even properly so that's why employees are it is definitely that they are trying to reduce the productivity they are trying to produce less and then it will be and have an impact on the organizational performance the output will be will be less so in that sense it will be impact by both the people the organization and also the employee uh, simultaneously so next the problem will be the absenteeism it will have a problem so you know the peoples that if the employees are not getting or treated properly equally in that sense they are not coming in the organizations properly and in the right time at the right place so every day maybe that employees are making it have a, as a kind of quality that they are coming late and they are not uh, coming properly and then sometimes they are remain absent from the organization so absent and absenteeism there is a differences you know absent means that you are remain absent in the organization occasionally or sometimes uh, uh, you know after a long time that you are coming late or you are not coming in the organization that is absent but absenteeism is a quality that you make a habit you make a habit of that things that you are you are coming late always and you are daily you are coming late sometimes and you are having a frequent absent in the organization so you make it as a quality uh, of your behavior in the behavior so that's why it's an absenteeism so so employees grievance also lead to lead to absenteeism okay so employees are not coming at the right time and they are not working properly even so next disobeying the order of the superior it can be another decision another problem that organization are facing another uh, you know issue the organization is having and their employees are provide having or you know you know they are not following the instructions of the of the immediate boss they are providing the uh, not a very good behavior even they are misconduct misconducting with the uh, you know you know rules and regulation they are not following the instructions they are not following the advice rules and regulation what has been given so it can be the result of the employees grievance so you need to take care of the issues very seriously another is in disciplined behavior so sometimes work organizations they are making some rules regulation they are following some policies but employees are not listening they are not following the orders and everything they are doing they are doing haphazard they are not taking disciplinary uh, you know issues properly so employees are not taking it very seriously even they are not following the norms of the organization so that's why organization they will have to be or they are taking in disciplinary activities so disciplinary activities so this is not a very good idea because um, you are not working with the main reason the main reason of the indisciplined activities is the employees grievance employees grievance is not the cause cause is the uh, you know employees grievance so you have to settle down the and also solve the employees grievance then employees will be uh, will be quite disciplined later so i think you have to think about the issues very seriously next reduced quality of work so sometimes organizations that employees are are being paid by the organization according to piece rate or according to the par par unit production so in that sense the employees are providing employees are producing because employees know employees know that if they are not producing they are not giving or they are not having payment or they are not getting the payment properly so they are providing but they are producing but they are not providing the quality production they are not providing and they are not following the total quality uh, you know you know management they are not following the management or the quality management aspects of the while they are producing so that's why they are trying to reduce the quality of the work so you have to think about the issues and other issues of the uh, very seriously next the reduced cooperation among the employees employees are not cooperating with their boss and employees are not cooperating with their superior they are not giving suggestions sometimes they are not helping the others they are not helping the other colleagues when the colleagues are not uh, problem uh, having some problem 
and difficulties and then that employee can know that how you can solve that but still they are not helping because the, he has some grievance with that person or the people so next issue is that discoursement discoursement in uh, employees so this is a kind of dissatisfaction also a discoursement and dissatisfaction within the employee so uh, it can be the result that always they are facing some dissatisfaction in the organizational activities and that will be a another crucial part and i think this is the final part is the you know uh, the relationship this is not a very good relationship okay so this is a kind of harmonious not a harmonious this is a harmonious this harmonious relationship between the employers and employees is a uh, not a a very symphonic relationship they will maintain when the employees are facing some problem related to their employees grievance the grievance will lead to a, a, a not a very good relation industrial relationship that will be a, a you know you know discard there will be a discard no cooperation among the employees and and the management so you, you have to think about the issues very seriously so all I, all I advise you that you have to follow these things also in your professional life that always try to console and also try to immediately address the dissatisfaction with to your employee so that employer and so that the employer can also understand that you have a grievance and also I think I advise also to the employer also that they will have to address the issues immediately to the to, to their you know in the organization so that and also they can start solve these issues and problem uh, related to the topic so you know exactly so that is the end of this session today so i think uh, if you have any question related to that matter you can ask these things in our zoom session okay so you know the when we go to the zoom session uh, we will be talking about some issues related to that your problem that already you already you identified in this session and uh, we, we will be arranging another review session later on after the end of these lectures because we are coming up on another three or four session we will be uh, in a meeting online and we will have to finish these chapters as early as possible and then hopefully we will uh, we will have our review session later on so till then uh, i advise you remain safe and do go, don't go outside and without any emergency you have to remain you know you know at home because our situation of our country is not very good so always all the facilities are you know you have to you have to use the you know online facilities for your education for your any kind of necessary things that you have to purchase so uh, at the end of this session today what i give you uh, that always always uh, try to be uh, follow the try to follow the rules and regulation of the government of our country and always we will be in a situation that we will try to eradicate this problem as early as possible allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have a mercy on us and then hopefully within a very short time we can cover up this problem as our uh, and we'll have our normal life back in our in, in uh, within very short time so thank you very much for this session and uh, hopefully we'll have another session within very short time and uh, within a couple of days i will have another session on with you and till then till then remain safe and stay at home and be safe thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi